I've had this 3D printer for a long time and it's been very reliable. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about what finally prompted me to upgrade my 3D printer and why I got a Bamboo P1S. Here's the 3D printer that I've been using for, I think, over 10 years. It's my third or fourth 3D printer, depending on how you measure it. My first was a printer bot, which was a wood kit. Then I designed and printed uh, the parts for my own Delta, and then bought this machine, which is called a Mendel Max. The reason I say you could call this my third or fourth is because I upgraded this sometime after I purchased it. And the upgrade kit basically replaced uh, a lot of the components, so it was a disassembly and reassembly. And so effectively it was a brand new printer. It's been a very reliable printer and I haven't had a need to, to upgrade it. But then recently I was visiting someone who had a Bamboo Carbon X1 and I was blown away with the results that he showed me on his printer. They just all worked and it worked really, really well. Now, part of that is because of the automatic bed leveling that this uh, machine has. There are plenty of machines that have the automatic bed leveling. This one does not, so I have to adjust it periodically. And I thought about going with something like a Prusa, etc., but I'd heard so many things about, so many great things about the Bamboo Carbon X1. So when I was doing my research, then I looked and discovered the P1S has pretty much all the capabilities that I want uh, that the Carbon X1 has, but at a lower price. So I decided to go with this machine. And then that meant that the AMS, or the Automatic Material System, became more affordable because the price of this was lower. I debated whether or not I needed that because I've never really felt the need to do multicolor prints. Now that I have it, I might try it. So. I have discovered there are some other advantages, though, to having the AMS. And the chief advantage of that is that it's super easy to load new filament. You just put it in the machine and it pulls the filament in. Much easier than, than this machine. I don't change the filament that often, so it wasn't a really big deal. But therein lies the second thing, which is with the AMS, it basically retracts the filament every time it's finished printing with that particular filament. And that means that to switch to another filament is super easy. So you can pull out the roll, put it in a different roll, etc. That means that it's also easy for me to change what material I'm going to use from print to print. That's pretty nice. Now something else I discovered, which is really nice about the bamboo filament, is that they have an RFID tag, which I'll show you in, in a little bit. That's uh, basically part of the filament that's in the roll. And that means that it knows exactly which filament it is, it knows what color it is, and that's quite nice because in the user experience it shows you all that information. It automatically changes the settings based on the material, etc. That's very, very nice. So I haven't used this printer a whole lot, but so far I'm really happy with this and I'm planning to get rid of this old printer because I don't really need it anymore, or I may decide to use the kinematics for some other purpose. We'll see. When I got this printer, the very first thing that I did is I printed this riser. It's uh, made out of four pieces plus some connectors. I printed this because most of my printing, at least so far, has been PLA. And one of the things I learned is that you don't really want to print PLA with the front door closed as well as the glass on the top. So this riser nicely holds the glass up above, leaving room for air to come out here. And it also uh, puts the AMS on top. So again, you can have the AMS there, plus room for the air to come out to keep it from getting too hot. And then the other thing is I open the door just a little bit to make sure it doesn't get too hot. So. I'm loving the AMS, I'm loving the ability to switch between uh, different filaments. And then there's something else I discovered about the bamboo filament that is pretty cool. So I'll show you that now. Printing this riser took 
an entire roll of filament and then some. And so I figured, okay, I'll just buy some more filament. But then what I discovered is that these filament rolls from bamboo are designed so that they come apart and you can buy a refill of just the filament and you don't have to buy and throw away another sp uh, spool or whatever they call this. And I thought that was really nice. But then uh, that's also where I discovered that the RFID tag is basically part of this piece here. Let me show you what the refill looks like. So if we look at a uh, refill, it has a comment in here about the RFID tag, it has instructions, etc. But what you can see is that this has the same cardboard tube inside with new RFID tags that identify this material. This is also matte PLA, so when I put this on here, it will know the color as well as the material. I really like this um, because I didn't like having to throw out the old plastic uh, spools. I like the idea of being able to reuse. So I'm going to open this up and then come back and uh, install it. Now one side, which happens to be this side, has a notch in it. And so that notch has to line up with this side. The other side does not have a notch. That's pretty much the most difficult thing about this. So I'm going to make sure that the notch aligns, which it does. And now I can put the other half on before I do anything else. So. Okay, it takes a little bit of work to get it in place, but there you go. And now it says it's okay to remove these. So I'll remove each of these. I'm going to remove this one last because it has the filament. And then for this one, I want to make sure that I put this into one of the holes so that it doesn't get tangled up. And now it's ready to install in the machine. At the moment I have the second slot empty, which is where I'm going to put the filament that I, or the refill that I just put into a spool. So I just need to open the, the lid put in the new roll of uh, filament and then the this is pretty easy you just have it's maybe a little bit hard to see but you just push forward on this and then put the filament um, in and then once you put it in far enough it picks it up automatically and then it starts to uh, do its thing this is the last uh, color that I printed and now I'm not sure all of the things it's doing, but it's automatic, so if I started a print job with this filament, it would uh, choose this automatically. That's a super nice system. And then removing the filament is just a matter of pushing on this and then pulling it out. So it's also really easy to swap in uh, different rolls of filament. And as you can see, it filled in that it was PLA and also that it was black, so I didn't have to set anything. The other thing that's nice about this is if the K-factor is different, so the characteristics are different between different filaments, it'll automatically pick that up and fill it in correctly. So that is a very nice feature. Although I haven't mentioned it on the channel before, 3D printers used to be my hobby before I got into injection molding and CNC machining, etc. I spent a lot of time on it. For example, I mentioned that I designed and made my own Delta printer. As part of that, I designed a circuit board that worked with four sensitive resistors to be an end-stop detector. So it was the FSR end-stop detector. I actually sold that uh, and then made it open source so that other people could sell it. Uh, so that was really a lot of fun. But after a while, I kind of got bored with that and switched to injection molding and CNC machining. So this printer 
is actually kind of exciting because it gets me back excited again with 3D printers and 3D printing technology. So hopefully I'll do some more with that. Uh, I actually have a couple of projects coming up and I'll show you that in the, the next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please me, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. See you next time.